Let's start with this double breasted coat. It hits me right past my knee which is a good length for an everyday coat. Gorgeous color as shown on the website and in person. A heather beige in color and with a hint of brown. I got this in an extra small and I would have to say the fit was really good. Didn't feel restrictive or too oversized. It's made of 97% wool and 3% polyester which is a pretty good blend. The coat has wide lapels with snap buttons for closure. Traditional side pockets and a wide tie belt at the waist that is removable. Wide tabs at the cuffs and a vent in the back. The inside of the coat is fully lined made of 100% polyester. The coat doesn't seem heavy at all. It felt very comfortable and easy to wear. My only complaint is that it does crease easily. Even if you sat down with your coat on, it can cause creases. I even ironed out some of the creases when I took it out of the package and I've gotta say the crease was pretty stubborn to get out. I feel at this price point, this is an item I would return. The crease will bother me so much and I end up regretting this purchase. I feel Mango would have a better price point with a better quality. As soon as I saw this hooded puffer on the website, I knew this was going to sell out pretty quickly. With the price point of only $54.99, this puffer is a steal. I like that this has a loose fit, but not too oversized. It's made of 100% polyester, so this is not going to be the puffer that will keep you warm during the super cold winter days. But you can definitely layer underneath. The jacket has a semi sheen and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous in this natural white color. The color and fit really gives you an effortless but also elevated look. Many of us live in warmer climates, so if you are one of those people, this jacket is one of those pieces I would suggest looking into. If you're on the market for something that's a little bit more classy or elegant, then this is for you. This jacket reminds me of the popular totem alpaca sweaters. I really like the fluffy fabric on the exterior. It's something different and looks like a great standout piece that will go well with other minimalistic pieces. This jacket is made up of 51% wool with polyester and acrylic making up the rest of the composition. This is another loose fit jacket with draped shoulders, so it's a good fit even with bulkier knits underneath. I really love the simplicity of this jacket with its oversized lapels and decorative strap in the back. The darker gray shade will go great with your black outfits and since it's a neutral color, it'll go great with so many other items in your wardrobe. It's such a classic suiting style that you can easily wear with business wear or casual wear. This jacket gets two thumbs up from me. The white bomber jacket, collarless, drop shoulders, is slightly padded with a loose fit. Though it's not ideal for super cold weather temperatures, it's great for those who live in warmer winter climates. The fabric, both the shell and lining, is made up of 100% polyester, is warm and cozy. I got a size extra small and though the fit is a bit boxy, I've gotta say, it's got a cool vibe to it. This is a nice light color bomber jacket for those in the market and is very different from the sea of black bombers you'll see in the stores. This mid-length puffer jacket is extremely lightweight. Keeps you warm and stylish. For this jacket, I got the size extra small. And for me, it fits perfectly fine because I plan to wear thick knits while wearing this jacket. However, if you plan to wear thinner pieces, then I would suggest sizing down even more. This is the perfect neutral shade, not too dark and not too light. 
The outer shell is made of 100% polyamide and the inside padding is 100% polyester. So I don't expect this to keep you warm in really cold dropping temperatures, unless you plan to wear heat tech plus layers underneath. With a price point of $76.99 and now it's marked down to $39.99, this jacket is worth it. This calf length double breast coat has more of an oversized and relaxed look. I'm wearing a size small, but could have gone with an extra small. If you're looking for an overcoat like this, but won't break the bank, then this is one to consider. But know that this is made of mainly polyester and only 15% wool. So it won't keep you warm, but with the right undergarments and layering, it could be okay for most people. The one thing I do want to mention is that it does creases easily like the first coat and is very stubborn to get the creases out. Other than that, I think it's a great look for the price. That'll be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It's free and will help support my channel. Thank you so much and see you in the next one. Bye.